Good evening and welcome to Beaufort County News and Views. I'm Catherine Glover and I'm the director of the Washington Beaufort County Chamber of Commerce. Speaking tonight with Dr. Cheryl Scott and she's with Dirk's Cab Practic. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Glad to have you. Let's talk a little bit about, well, so you've, how long have you been with Dirk's Chiropractic? I've been with Dirk's Chiropractic. We're about in our third year um, that I am with them. A mutual chiropractic colleague of ours um, was working in a chiropractic office in Williamston and decided to semi-retire and move to the Outer Banks. And so that practice became available and uh, Dr. Dirk's and I decided to get that up and running, to add a third practice to his multiple locations. Wonderful. So let's talk a little bit because I think people don't, some people might not know what chiropractic care is. Some people might think they know, but they don't really know. Talk to me a little bit about what chiropractic care is. Most of the patients who come into our office usually come in for neck or low back pain. Either they've been in a car accident or they've started, this time of year they started working in the garden before they were, their body was kind of ready. So they've got some aches and pains. And the majority of the things that we treat um, or initially treat are those kind of aches and pains our body isn't functioning or moving normally and as a chiropractor what I do is I make tiny adjustments to the structure of the body um, and to help patients muscles relax joints move more freely and so they're able to participate in their life the way they would like to so for some that might they might not really understand all of that in terms of oh gosh how does that work in terms of so do chiropractors believe that there's an alignment like everything has to be a kind of in place so it'll work it, how does that work you can think of it as an alignment but you can also think of it as like moving parts say like your car tires may need to be aligned occasionally because they're in a in a kind of broad way they're just not functioning properly so if you don't um, say line and balance your tires um, every year or so that you'll get wear on one part of the tire or the other it's the same kind of thing that happens with your spine if you don't make sure that the parts are moving or the bones and joints are moving appropriately um, or they're not aligned in a specific way you can get um, the beginnings of arthritis you can get muscle spasms you can get aches and pains uh-huh so do you just you don't just treat that though there's all kinds of different stuff that people come to chiropractors for correct? we we do correct we treat extremities which is arms and legs if you have a, a sore knee or a sore elbow shoulders we treat lots of shoulders we treat headaches but i think the most most people come in for neck or low back pain and so talk to me like your school what what do you go through to become a chiropractor so that people know the background sure you start with um your four-year bachelor's degree and then after your bachelor's degree you would go to chiropractic college for I went for three and a half years it's considered a five-year program but they make us go through the summer um, so you can do the entire program in about three and a half years after your bachelor's degree and you learn all about the body we do we have um, we're required to take before we go to chiropractic college when you're getting your bachelor's degree you're required to take two years of anatomy a year of chemistry a year of physics and then when you actually get into um, chiropractic college you take multiple years of anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, um, biochemistry, you, many, many years on how the body works, what the parts are, what the function is. But and you then do, how to treat, and then of course how to treat the chiropractic. To do um, the side whole piece of it. Yeah, to do the, um, to actual do the work, you know, not just to understand the body, but also to manually do what we do. We take lots of classes and how, how do you return alignment? How do you restore function? Uh-huh. So, but you don't do any prescriptions? No, no, we do not um, do any prescriptions. We don't recommend or we don't recommend that people take or don't take medication. That's outside of our scope of practice. So, mm -hmm. but we will say, you know, maybe you need to see your primary if that's something that you're interested in. We, we, I work in concert with many different primary care facilities and primary care physicians, um, as well as orthopedic and neurological Um doctors so we really we we like to think of ourselves as a member of larger teams yeah that's what I was going to ask you like is it usually in conjunction with primary care doctors or specialists and other things they're like okay go go and let's work on this together yeah let's try usually for our patients especially the ones who have sought out orthopedic care or neurological surgical care um, we may be that person that that we're, we're not really interested or the doctor says we're not quite ready um, for surgery so we're one of the um, conservative alternatives for disc surgery um, low back surgery neck surgery those kind of things why don't you, you can try us 
first. And usually within two weeks or so, we can you can see whether what we're going to do is, is going to help you. You know pretty quickly. Mm, absolutely. And our goal is for the patients to get better as quickly as possible. So if we don't see major differences shortly after they begin, then we say, well, you know, maybe this option doesn't work for you. And there are other options, whether it's injections or surgery. And we can kind of direct them on that path. And do you work any on like nutrition or anything like that? We do, we do. We have had several courses in nutrition and I'm always keeping up to date when all the new nutritional um, recommendations. And of course you have to balance that with what medications the patients are on. So it's, you have to keep a pretty well-rounded amount of information. And you've been, I think we, I asked you this earlier, but how long have you been doing this? I've been a chiropractor for almost 20 years. I got my chiropractic degree in 1997, and aside for some time that I took off with my girls um, when I taught, um, I've been a chiropractor. I've worked um, in Beaufort County, and I'm working in Martin and Pitt County right now. I worked in um, inside and outside of New York City before I moved back down here after I graduated from college. And where did you go to school? New York Chiropractic College. It okay. is a chiropractic college in Seneca Falls, New York. So if you don't know anything about New York State, it's always fun to look at that place because it doesn't look anything like New York City. It looks much more like Beaufort County. I was um, going to say there had to be a difference in New York and Beaufort <laughs> County, but you said it. Not that similar. much. The only difference is we have an Outer Banks here in North Carolina, and they have um, the Finger Lakes. So there, there's, it's a lot closer. The, I think Seneca Falls had like 4,000 or 5,000 people in it. Um, it's much closer to Beaufort County than it is New York City. So, Wonderful. Yeah. But you've been practicing for 20 years, so that, I mean, that's yes. a long time. That's yeah, awesome. it's, a, it's a long time. I hate to think that I'm that old. <laughs> that means you have experience. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute with Dr. Cheryl Scott. Thank you. 